Hello and welcome to the homework video for sixth grade for Friday, May the 8th. So this is going to cover our lesson homework working with box plots. So I have written a lot of things in to kind of speed up being able to talk through everything. So to start with, if we took uh, number two, took all these numbers, put them in order. Uh, one thing I figured out that helped me uh, do this part quicker is put a little dot underneath. So if you are using a pencil, maybe just put a little light line through as you're writing the numbers down to help keep track of which ones you've done. Uh, so our median is going to fall between 10 and 14, so that would give us 12. Our lower quartile, uh, because we're working with five numbers on each side, would be the center number here, which would be 8, and then our center number here would be 16. And then if I were to make my box plot, again, I'm going to have my box start at my lower quartile, which is eight, and at my upper quartile, I missed the dot um, as I was drawing my line through there. And then uh, we would have a dot for our median, which is at 12, um, and then our upper and lower numbers of four and 18 in our data set, we would have uh, line segments going out to both of those. So number four, our number of students uh, put in order, our box plot, our lowest number is going to be four, our median is going to be 8.5. So again, we are going to be in between uh, these two numbers here because we have an even number set of numbers. And so halfway in between eight and nine would be eight and a half. And then if we look at these, in between these two numbers, we would be at five and a half for our lower quartile and at nine and a half for our upper quartile. So here's where our box would go and then our line segments extend out. Uh, number five, we have all of these numbers uh, put in order. We are going to have eight numbers again, or scary, sorry, we're gonna have seven numbers. So I've circled the median, which would be 26. In our lower quartile, I circled in green, which would be 20. So uh, 26 and 20 would be our two answers for that. Number six, our upper quartile is going to be eight because that is going to be the number that falls between seven and nine. So we had to go five, five, six would be our median, seven and nine would be our upper quartile, um, our upper two numbers, the upper quartile would be the center of that, which would be eight. And then for number seven, here's putting all the numbers in order. I tried to hand draw as best I could. Um, so I am starting at 20 um, and making a line uh, every five uh, and then just trying to match things up as best as possible. So I would go all the way up to 81, which should be just a little bit to the right of this last line. Again, my lines are a little bit crooked. So this is a good representation of that. Uh, our lower quartile is 22. Our upper quartile is going to be 76. Uh, so I missed it just a little bit with uh, drawing the line through there. It looks like it's closer to 75. And then our median is going to be 55. So that's uh, one way that we could draw that. Moving to the back, um, our box. Here is our median. And then our lower quartile would be the center number here, which would be six. Our upper quartile would be the center number here, which would be 12. And so our box would go from six to 12. Our lower quartile for number two, Again, this is going to be our median. We're going to have three numbers on each side, so it would be the center number, lower quartile would be 18. Number three, I gave a suggestion in the lesson video on this one. So for it to be a statistical question, it has to involve multiple points of data. So our question with how many lunches did Mark buy, we are asking about different days potentially, but we're only asking about one person. And so, uh, Lisa would be the person that is not correct in this instance. Uh, Jen saying the average number of school lunches bought each day involves multiple points of data. And so number four, uh, we can go ahead and add all six numbers up to get a, a total of 495 divided by six. So our mean would be 82.5 for that. Number five, our uh, value is going to change by negative five if we remove the outlier. So to start with, if we take all five of these numbers, we would get the total 100 and then divide by five for a total of 25 for the mean. 
If we do 60 divided by 4, the mean drops down to 50 by removing that outlier. And so our median, or sorry, our mean, excuse me, would change by uh, lowering it by 5. And number six, here are the two um, clusters that can show up in the dot plot. So again, more than one correct answer. So those are the homework problems. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me if you're a Risen Christ student. Uh, please reach out to your classroom teacher if you're finding this uh, through a Google video. Ask them for suggestions of ways to make this a little bit easier. As I said in the lesson video, the hardest part about this entire thing is just the attention to detail, making sure that you take the time to put everything in the correct numerical order and then follow the correct steps for finding the median and then the upper quartile and the lower quartile respectively. The rest of it, drawing the box, is just a matter of um, technique after that. But uh, those steps to find all the information so that you can draw your box plot properly, uh, that's the part that's time consuming. So I'll have a new lesson uh, for sixth grade on Monday. We'll be continuing this chapter that we're currently working on. So hope you have a great weekend and I will see you on Monday.